possible in our scientific age can the miraculous really happen. We live in a time where people put a lot of confidence in science. And a lot of that confidence is well placed. Think about how science has allowed us to travel around the world and even outside of the world. Think of how it's brought us just breakthroughs in medicine, what it's brought with communications and other forms of technology. Science is incredible. But given this confidence of what science has given us, we tend to say, wait a minute, maybe science can explain everything and miracles in themselves are not even possible. Some of my skeptical friends will say miracles are not possible and that I have to show God exists for a miracle to be possible. But I think they have it backwards. What the skeptic has to show is that God does not exist and that everything can be explained naturally. So believe it or not, even despite how the narrative is typically painted, the burden of proof is on the skeptic to show that God does not exist and miracles can't happen. Otherwise, the open-minded, fair observer would follow the evidence wherever it leads. Recently, I took a group of high school students up to the campus of Berkeley. A friend and I got to do a presentation to a group of agnostics. And at the end, we were taking questions. And the student who's a PhD student in physics raised his hand. He said, wait a minute, hasn't science shown that when people die, they stay dead? In other words, hasn't science shown that miracles, and namely things like the resurrection or raising people from the dead, which Christianity is based upon, is simply not true? I said, you're right. Science has shown that when people die, they stay dead. Science, by definition, is a descriptive project. Science describes the way the world operates. So science can't tell us that a miracle cannot happen. It can just tell us the normal way that the world operates when left on its own. But the claim of the resurrection and miracles is not that Jesus rose naturally, that there was some law of nature or chemical that made him raise. It's a supernatural claim. If God does not exist, then miracles of course cannot happen. Everything must have a natural or scientific explanation. But if God does exist, then miracles are certainly possible. If God created the world, if he's a supernatural being, then there would be nothing limiting God. It all comes back to the question of the existence of God. And what's amazing is what we've discovered in just the past few years is that there are certain findings from the tiniest cell to the structure of the universe that actually cry out for a transcendent cause. So take things like DNA. You know there's a hundred trillion cells in the average human body. You take the DNA out from one cell and uncoils nine feet in length. That means all the DNA in your body strung together would go from here to the sun and back 70 times. The strand of one DNA in one cell in your body has the equivalent of half a million DVDs. Whenever we find information, we know it's the cause of a mind. Skeptics used to say the universe is eternal. Christians said, no, only God is eternal. Unless you want to believe that the universe came from nothing, that seems to point to a cause outside the universe that's very powerful, very personal, which seems to point towards the existence of a God, of an intelligent being. So not only has science not disproven miracles, but the more we probe the depths of the universe and the tiniest cell, we see these fingerprints of intelligence, which makes it not only possible, but even reasonable that we may expect to see some miracles when we investigate.